Give it up for my buddy, one and only, Ice Cube. <laughs> I heard that you just became a grandpa. Yeah. Oh, really? Don't call me grandpa, though. No. Don't call me grandpa. Call me Big Daddy Cube. I'll take that. Big Daddy Cube. Big Daddy Cube. I'll take that. See, that's what I've been, you know, Q, I've been trying to work that out, man, because see, I had granddaughters first. Uh. But my wife made them call me Paw Paw. Mm-hmm. And I, I wanted them to call me Big Pimpin'. Yeah. I don't think Big Daddy Cube gonna go over too much either, so... No. I'm probably no, end up no, being No, man, your wife's too. gonna probably shut that down. <laughs> hey, man, you and your girl, man, y'all, y'all been married 26 years, Q. Yeah, yeah, we've been down. <laughs> she been holding me down forever. Yeah, you got a good one, man. Yeah, I do, man. You got a good one. I'm what, lucky. what advice do you give your son about parenting? Be good to your kids, because you're going to get old one day, they're going to have to take care of you. So. <laughs> <laughs> Be good to your kids, you know? It, that's what it's all about. I say you communicate. They'll respect you a lot more, trust me. Yeah. 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 They'll respect you yeah. a lot more. I mean, look... It's all about discipline now. I'm not, I'm not Mr. Mr. Hang out and be friends with my kids. Yeah. I'm still daddy. I'm still pops. And I know how to be that, but also know how to treat them like humans and know that they got feelings and they got wants and needs and desires. Exactly. And they might see things different than I do sometime. And let's talk about it and let's come up with the right solution. Yeah. yeah. Too many people, too many people have forgotten. It's not your job. I'm, it's not my job be your friend and your pal. Love and guidance is my number one job with you. Love and guidance. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, man, I can't be your friend because you ain't yeah. gonna like what I'm telling you. You know, the thing is for us not to forget how it was when we were their age. Yeah. That's the key. A lot of us won't even think about when we were 10, 11, 12, mm -hmm. 15, 16, 18. And we should, because we should remember, because, you know, they go through real stuff. We, yeah. think, we think we're parents. Our stuff is bigger than what they got to go through. But in their world, it's, you know, what they going through is just as big as it's huge. you. Yeah, so to me, what they going through is way more important than what you going through. Hey, Q, man, let's talk about this. Your, your last album you released, man, was eight years ago. Why did you wait so long to release Everything's Corrupt? Well, you know, I vowed to myself that I wouldn't mix too many projects, even though it looked like I do a lot of stuff. But yeah. uh, I really focus when I'm on something, I focus just on that. So I was working on music, and then this little movie called Straight Outta Compton came along. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, not yeah. to put... <laughs> little something. Little so. something. I had, to, I had to put laser focus into it. You know, I had to really concentrate, so I put the music down. And then the big three came around, my basketball yeah, league. So it's perfect timing for an album like this, and it's been getting great reviews. People love it. Um, you know, people believe real hip-hop is back. And it's just talking about corruption, not just the corruption in the government, but corruptions in our bodies, you know. A lot of youngsters are on pills now, you know, and they, they uh, there's corruptions in our neighborhoods. Yeah. You know, we should really, you know, examine this stuff and make sure we moving in the right direction because nobody got a plan for us. We got to have a plan for ourselves. Yeah, that's right, man. Now, Q, you got another new venture you're working on, man. You bringing back Celebrity Deathmatch on yeah. MTV. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a lot of Twitter beefs and stuff that's going. Let's have some fun. Let's bring it back. Put it on TV and have fun with it instead of, you know, things happening in the streets. You know, that ain't cool. <laughs> yeah, I got some people I want you to match yeah, me I, I, I think, I, I think uh, that trump Mueller fight is going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, one more question. Because a lot of millennials come to this show. What piece of advice would you give to them as a young person that's trying to find their way? Where you want to be, somebody's went there. <laughs> yeah. And they can show you how to get there that's faster right. than you can think it up yourself. That's so, right. you know, respect the people that came before you. Take their advice. Um, and, you know, believe in yourself because people are going to try to deter you from your dreams. Yeah. And um, believe in yourself. My oh, man, that's the truth. Mm. You my man, boy. Too, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend, the cube, Ice Cube's out.
album. Thank you. It's called Everything's Corrupt. Thank you. Everything is corrupt. It's in stores now. We'll be right back. Everything's corrupt. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.